Welcome back. Next, we have Chris and her foster mother, Miss Riri Hanna. Let's give them a warm welcome. Hi, Lily. How's it going? I love your show. Thank you. So, what's going on with the two of you? Well, I'm not really sure. Uh, what's going on, Chris? Look, Lady, don't make me angry, because you won't like me when I'm angry. I'm sorry, Chris. I just don't understand why you're angry. You can tell me anything. Can I? Can I really? Every time I try to talk to you, Mr. Jackson is in the room, or you go back and tell him everything, so I can never talk to you privately. Well, Chris, here's your chance to tell her without the parent on stage. Go ahead. Well, I feel like any time I try to say anything to you about my foster parent, it gets back to him. And then when there is an actual problem, Mr. Jackson doesn't believe me about anything. I feel like there's no adult I can trust. And then when I need to vent, I have nobody to go to. So I freak out and I snap on everyone. Well, what are the problems? I work late and it's a hassle to worry about whether or not I'm going to get in the house after work. And I need a key and he won't give me one. Wow, I didn't realize that there was a legitimate reason for you being late all the time. and. Coming in late, I, I didn't even know you didn't have a key to the house. This is going really well. Let's bring out Mr. Jackson. Hey, man. Uh, seems like we have a lot to talk about when it comes to Chris here. Uh, there seems to be a lack of communication between the three of us. Yeah, I believe there is um, a lack of communication. There's a lot of things we have to talk about. It sounds like Chris would really like a key so she could ensure that she can get in and out of the house without any worry. She'd also like to be able to communicate with the two of you at separate times to ensure that whatever she says to one isn't transferred to the other. Also, make sure that you aren't automatically taking sides with Mr. Jackson and make sure that you are investigating any issues so that it's fair for both sides. We'll be right back after this message from Youth Fostering Change. We are youth who are involved or have been involved in the child welfare system. We know firsthand what it is like to be in situations like these where we are misunderstood. Through Juvenile Law Center's Youth Foster and Change Program, we are advocating to improve relationships between caseworkers, youth, and caregivers in the child welfare system. We want our caseworkers and caregivers to know that we aren't just youth in care. We are young adults, students, employees, children, mothers, fathers, girlfriends, boyfriends, sisters, brothers, friends, dreamers, and believers. We also want people to know that we experience pain, anxiety, fear, depression, mood swings, anger, separation, loneliness, joy, love, happiness, laughter, adventure, life, and friendship. So give us a chance to prove that we deserve an opportunity to be successful. 